Hi everybody, I've got a new stream series for you. This time I'm showing my approach to creating a stylized plane in Modo, Substance Painter and Designer. For those of you who don't know me, I'm John, aka Graffiti, and I'm an environment artist with experience in both the animated film and games industries. As always, these videos are recorded live streams, and therefore there's no music, and each video is quite lengthy. So you might want to increase the speed of the video and put your own music on in the background. If you want to see me make stuff live, then please tune into my Twitch channel, and you can follow me on Twitter for updates. If you have any questions about my process, then please comment below and subscribe for new videos in the future. Enjoy. Yeah, I managed to do some tinkering at work today and have a look at some bakes, you know, so basically I'm just working out the best way to bake this, whether that's using the rounded edge shader or doing a high res and baking it the, the usual way, um, but yeah. Tired and stressed, lots of does. Is it deadline week? One well, week till everything is in. Dun dun dun! It'll be so good when it's done though. Ah. You need music like this. Well, actually, with sound, you probably can't listen to music. <laughs> oh, it's a little nip. Uh, yeah, so this was the first bake I did, and basically I was not practicing what I preach in the, you can still see some faceting, which, you know, is showing up in the bake as well here. Because um, the high res one has obviously got more detail, but the lower one hasn't, so we get these weird patches. So I went back, oh, and also I thought that this back bit looked really weird, like, just, it wouldn't be crafted like this, smushed together. Um, so I got back into Modo and smoothed those out a bit. So now it kind of, it looks, so we've got more geometry in the rims here. We've got, I think this is a bit neater. I changed that slightly. We've got more geometry this way and we've got more geometry this way as well. Um, also this bit doesn't, you know, it's like attached on top of it now instead of anything else. And no music, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to try baking this now and see what we'll come out with. I think what might also help is if I get some smoothness into this thing as well. just because I think having this just to match the smoothness of the other shapes will be really good. So just tweak that. Excuse me, blowing my nose. Okay, yeah, that's in. And yeah, just checking out the flow geo.
Okay. It's not on. How do I on this playlist? Uh, there we go. Didn't have the right ones on. EGX was really good. Um, didn't play a lot of games, mind, but um, like doing the career stuff was really, really cool. Um, I just see it, you know people advice on or answering rather people's questions on what they should do and things like that um, met some other industry people as well and also saw BAFTA crew which was awesome uh, yeah so it was really good thanks what's going on in this bit, but we'll cross that beak when we get to it. Um, okay, so UV map now and also well actually before that let's copy this and we want to paste that in our main scene is it off center no that's so if we put this on now yeah that's Sticking out of the back, but the rest matches up. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. We'll save a new version so we're up to date. Have you got much planned over the summer, Micah? Are you, did you manage to get the internship? Or, or uh, were you meant to be doing a piece? Are you waiting until deadlines run and then? submitting your piece. I think that's what you said you were going to do. Uh, right, so this we need to get the UV map up. Projects, set up, UV checker color, boom, it's all the right way, so that's fine.
this, but... Flush, which it is. Okay, and then let's relax them. Edges, they're selected, and everything else is fine. I think. Yep, looks good. It might even be worth getting another subdivision down there, but I don't think they're going to notice. Well, we'll see. Um, bits and pieces known to right now, and it's looking less and less likely for Westwood Season Two. Um, don't get like don't get too disheartened. I mean, um, worst thing comes to the worst. You could, you know, potentially do some freelance gigs, um, or just I went to um, Gareth Coker's. Um, the guy who did the music for Ori in the Blind Forest, a talk of his last week or the week before, I think it was the week before now, um, and he was basically saying that there's loads of, um, just because you're not doing, like, have a job, uh, like a, a fixed job at that time, just do stuff on your own and publish it um, on kind of like resource websites and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, like or kind of make your own or maybe put it out on Twitter that you can make stuff for free or or that kind of thing and yes I am excited for Westworld 2 and I haven't started watching it yet because Lisa hasn't seen all of Westworld 1 so we're starting that from the from the beginning um, and you know I really like Westworld so um, yeah really happy to do that uh, what am I doing here? I'm doing another version. Okay, so new body. And what I want to do with this, so if we copy and paste this. Basically, what I want to do is I want to separate these 
on this mesh, rounded mesh, into different rounded edge shader groups. So round edge 15 mil, and then probably you want these all the same. Basically, all I'm doing, just to get this window open so you can see, Windows, Data Lists, oh, I haven't posted this. Oh, and also I haven't posted in my Discord, it's cracked on. Um, <laughs> it's not like me, I think it's because it's not right in front of my face, I completely forgot. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, do that. Um, 3D edit. No, we want shader tree. So basically all I'm doing in here is increasing the rounded edge width to whatever it represents. 15 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 20 millimeters. These are all yeah, grey and such, so that's fine. Just put that down here. Um, yes, what am I looking for? I'm not looking for Spotify, I'm looking for this. Yeah, that seems alright, maybe. Slightly less. Um, cool, okay, so now if we go into a render of this, while I'm here, I need to turn down the environment. Hopefully it won't lag too badly, but you can see there's a small rounded nuss where things are now joined. And it's not completely perfect but it's quite, it's definitely something there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do some bakes and just check how they are. So before we do that, let's copy this, paste. I want to do a version of this which is just a high res version. So I want to select all my hard edges. Now I think I'm going to have to do this one bit at a time. Okay, so those are the hard edges on here.
this part a bit. And this is probably going to have to be tighter just because of the way it is. So we'll leave that for the moment. But if we start to like that now, we'll get a better indication of what the shapes are going to be like. So now if we do a shift D, smooth. So we've got a proper high. Let's see what comes out of this. So now we can test both ways. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm going to do the rounded. I'm going to bake that with game tools. I'm going to bake and wizard back to model because we don't need anything else. So I want this to go to our images, substances. Uh, let's put it in this test folder, select, I want to use a 2K, uh, we want to use that, and we want it in a PNG, PNG, uh, we'll call this play, bake, uh, this is a rounded, cool, next step meshes and then so we want the low play new body we want the low so the rounded as the source why can't I select that Hmm, weird. It just needs jolting. No, that's... Ah, oh, there we go. Don't know what happened then. Anyway, next, render. That's fine. We don't need anything there. Add texture output. I want... Oh, it's already in. A normal diffuse color. Yeah, all right. Uh, do they have, like, a curvature? No. Uh, world space normal? No. Nope, so we'll just do that. Um, I think that's all I need to do. So if we bake, which 
Just watch this crash now and I haven't seen it. saved it. Oh, there we go. Hopefully this won't drop the stream too badly. But you can see it's baking all the normal information, which is great. Oh, diffuse color, I suppose I didn't need this because it's gray. <laughs> Lol. But that's good for getting out the ID information. And what's this AO? I suppose it's, it's what, Unreal Ambient Collusion. Doesn't look like it's generating anything. <laughs> yeah, so we can get rid of AO. <laughs> but the normal map seems to be... Okay, we've got some artifact in. Not much. So that's pretty good. Uh, right, so that should have been cooked out. Yes, so that's pretty awesome. So we exit that and we go, let's remove Ambient Collision, remove, because we don't need those two. And this time I want to go high, next step. And then in here, turn off that. I oh, want the high is the source. Next. Next. Normal. And let's bait this. And just see the difference. If there's any. because I'm quite happy to check that all these bakes work. Like what's the best way of baking? Because you know, I need to explore this kind of pipeline as well. It's something that I don't do very often I, like, as. Um, so yeah, that's why we're doing it. Okay, so we want these to open. Okay, and I need just, so there is some difference. offset because it's only selecting so we need to merge it down and copy it so like that paste rounded okay okay so the high doesn't seem as strong so again, quite a lot of artifact in, in these pinch points, especially around the edge here. And, you know, this could be just the downside of baking in Modo as well. Whereas the rounded edge shader pulls out a lot more information. with it applied to it, I think.
we should be like this and see what comes out. Delete these. And that see what happens. Have you tried Marmoset? It's supposed to be really good. Uh, I've not tried it. Yes, I have. In fact, I did a tutorial on it. <laughs> oh, what's fucked up there? Ah, it's because the low could be hidden. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Bake only. So what, I'll export these and try them in um, in Unreal, uh, in Marmoset and Substance Painter as well. Now this looks a bit more promising. A lot more promising actually. Much smoother bake. Get some weirdness but not too bad that one actually. Uh, so if we go back to Photoshop And open that one. Definitely sharper. Yeah, much smoother. Still some artifact in, but not too bad. How's that? I think also I changed the cage size as well, so that must have helped. So let's now export high to and low. FBX 2015. And we're sending these to plain tests. And then let's go marmoset. And file, close, import model. Objects, plain tests, body low. Tell you what, the normals looks a bit, a bit weird in here. Which ain't great. Could be the lighting though, I suppose. Uh, and then I want to. I want the baker open. And I want. This guy in the low, and I want this guy in the height. And then I want the cage. Oh, where are you, cage? in here. Ah, here it is. Is this it? No, that's the height. Here it is, cage. Okay. Maybe 
something like that. And then let's go, and I think I'm gonna have, so probably why I'm getting some weirdness to the surface is because, well, the models are, you know, quite literally on top of each other. Um, so now if we go Baker and we call this, uh, let's soften samples times four, 2K, Photoshop document, I suppose that's what it's going to be. So we go mechanical plane, substances, it's in here. And we call it, yeah, plane, make, Don't tell me it was that fast. <laughs> Substances. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So that's world space normal. That's the actual normal, and this has got pad in as well. Okay. So again, what if we take the padding off? Just to see what it looks like. Padding, none. Turn off that one and bake again. CRISPR again. Maybe the um, cage needs to be a bit bigger. Let's try that. Yeah, I am baking this all together at the moment, so there are going to be some issues then, you know, rather than baking this separately, like with it exploded. Um, let's make that. Yeah, so we do need it to be bigger.
Okay, so maybe the high two is better at the moment, just in Modo. I mean, there's not very much in it, but I think there's more information coming through from Modo. Okay. Um, Let's just turn the high off. Um, okay, so this has the gloss. So what if we add the normal map? So we can have a look at it here. Let's get a better sky. Seems quite nice the bake from Marmoset. So, what about the bake from High 2? So that was going to be covered up anyway, so that doesn't really matter. About around here. So that step seems better. Two is giving it some artifacting places. When we look dead on, then we can see the pass in how it's not working, but there is going to be something in front of that, so that's not the end of the world. Yeah, I think the Marmoset set one is winning so far. Weird pinch there. I mean, there's no, I'm, very, I'm nitpicking this really. Yeah, I think it will help if they weren't, you know, on each other. That's not the end of the world. It's all right. Okay, so that's in, so Mama said, let's write this down. There's a back of a letter. So it's, it's the subdivision in Modo is shifty, 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 and it's shift D and it's SDS subdivide and then smooth. That's cool. And then let's go into some.
substance painter now. And I want to import a new, what you call it, mesh, which is the one here, new body low. Okay, looks nice. And then in here, I want to bake. So let's bake everything, 2K. And I want to bake from high to off because we don't need that but we do need everything else although let's not include anything else yet uh, let's bake that okay getting some awareness in there so Still okay, pretty nice results like around here. Under here. Some weirdness in the geometry around here. Now that's you know could be a feature, but it's because we've got triangles going in. You can see it. So might need, need to smooth those out in the low. So the step looks a bit weird. So what if we make this sort of smaller digit? So not so we need to go point fifteen. I think that's now casting over there, is it? great about you know all this new software is that it's so fast to do this okay so that's a pretty good bake probably one of you know again the better ones so now ooh, so again some weirdness where it's come away so could in, in fact put some more mesh detail in there as well. Is that right on this side? No, so that side's all right. So what's wrong with the high? Uh, let's close, let's save. So in the low. Yeah, so the high. So I must have missed one, an edge. So if we select this row. There we go. Ah, okay. So the step itself is a lot smoothed out. to watch this a bit more. Uh, 
that list five millimeters. And then shift. So I'm guessing smooth. Oh, okay, no, it did do it. again. some weird pinch in there, and that's because they're high. Pretty happy with that. So what if we now? Uh, I need to find this map textures. Okay, let's get in the other maps. So it's this one and this one. So this one is So this is Modo. And it's a lot harsher. from Marmoset. Here again it seems a lot harsh. 
sure. Yeah, so maybe just baking in painter will get us there. So let's bake the rest of these textures and see what color it comes up with. information on it already. So yeah, we're still getting some bits around here. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. the blue. <laughs> hey Dave, how, how's it going? Yeah, not bad, just working out the best, uh, best approach to baking this stuff. Right, so we need to fix that triangle. Uh, so this high needs to go, we need this back, and I want to take out Blue 
these two. There we go. Just got more information there for these two. There we go. Okay, cool. So in here, this is what we need to change. We need to hook it up a bit better. How's your uh, how are your deadlines going? Now, if I get this, so I think it might be better to take out. these because we don't need so many subdivisions because it's not joined to anything. Something like that. Right now, I feel like this needs splitting up because we're getting a point here which might not be very good. How's the three out of four modules down? Got the last one. Oh, that's pretty good. 
How far along are you on this one? I'm guessing almost done. How did the um did you manage to make any changes to your XCOM uh, environment? Get in here. It's probably not good. I think the flow is better. That's much better than it was. play around with the scene some more, but I was running out of time, I should have it up on our station. Ah, oh, cool! Are you, uh, with your deadlines out of the way, are you going to have a go at the uh, art station competition, or, sorry, challenge rather? How are you feeling about a new project? You know, one with no deadlines, one where you can do whatever you like.
better, much tighter bevel, which is what exactly what we want. Okay, so over here, that's. Oh, thanks Dynasty, the auto host. Hope everyone had a uh, good session tonight with him. Look like Zed Brush. Witchcraft. To be honest, we could just rip this from the other one. Let's give ourselves some time. I think we'll do that. That's better distribution, but we need to sort this one out down here as well. Be worth. Definitely 
Add some weirdness in on these bits. Let's go with that. Okay, so we get a copy of that. So we don't have to do this beveling again. Uh, so then it was shifty, and it was this one, and then shifty, and then smooth. to play about these settings at some point as well. That weirdness is going to be get covered up. We've got some of the bottom, but that's not the end of the world. Importantly, what's going on around here? That is looking a lot better. Yeah, so we're smoother now.
Okie dokie. Just get this thing on and get this. It's a bit easier to see. shells select to see what's going on seem to be correct. Okay. So let's export this. Grab all these 
these new parts. Seen some awesome stuff on our station already. I'd like to have a go at it. Yeah, yeah. There's some really cool concepts, and I think like some really cool props as well. I kind of can already sense which ones might be picked, um, which will be interesting.
Yep, whole world of pain in these bits. You have one. still across the whole thing which is really annoying So instead, why don't I just pinch around here? Just so they have better support edges. And perhaps in these bits.
these on the wrong mesh. No, so those are the ones I want. And then these ones delete, delete, delete the UV map. We need shift divide in that, shift divide in smooth. They're not joined up, okay. Uh, so let's go elements this one. A little bit of weirdness, but not too bad. is better. Much better. Okay. 
Okay, so now we do a shift divide. Shift divide smooth. Okay, this time. Nice and smooth. Cool. I hope that's the right one. Let's export this. And let's make sure this is on the right shader. Export this. again and 
use the height and bake them again. Okay. This is where it's now baking onto each other, which ain't good. Okay, so we're getting stuff baking onto each other. That's fine. But it might be worth exploding the mesh now and seeing what we come back back with. So I want to move this. do with a script for this. I know you can do it by mesh layer name, but I might be here all day. Uh it said that we just update certain layers, don't we? Heck it, let's give it a go. Although is that gonna
as the original of the arms. Okay, so what if we now export these as one mesh? Again, export. Okay, so now let's go edit project, get a new one, and we want the low mesh names. Okay, and then bake textures. This makes a difference. Let's put this up to one point was it twelve? Hmm, that will do it. Right, we're going to do stick to that way. That works a treat way better. That means we can do things separately as well, which would be pretty cool. And not have it all on one mesh. Okay, so let's group these.
Oh. What's going on here? Body. Ah, uh, so another thing we want to do before that. Down here probably separates. Maybe these are. So one, two, it's on its own, those are on their own, fins, fin plates, additions, additions, lights, arch, and the body. This is a really boring process if you're watching for you. Okay, so addition one, two, plates, cockpit, surround, cockpit hood, engine covers. Mesh 
James. Textures again. Okay, new one and bake. Let's see what comes out of this. Generally, not too bad. Oh, we're on bakes. It's going to be fine with old space, no ID, ambient occlusion. Ah, oh, okay, so we still get the AO, which is really cool. Yeah, so again, some weirdness. So we could probably touch some of these maps up in Photoshop or increase the anti aliasing. Maybe move the UVs down on the hood. So if we get hood. actually
that's smooth, isn't it? Now it's even warm. Something like that. Give that a go. That might be a bit better. Hi, curious. My heart's crashed. I'm very annoyed. <laughs> At work. <laughs> systematically going through and baking change like changing things baking things changing things baking things the art of baking yeah I think that's gonna be better and if we bake this again in there okay so what's next on this thing so got these just break all this down, so take the lockets, take these side bits, take the back bit, this bit, Thank you. 
smooth. I can't remember that. I don't think they are. Uh, no, I think they've got like a highlight on them. So.
strong signals near the end of the stream. <laughs> Let's give that a go, maybe. select that.
seems to be all um, going in the right direction and stuff. No. Hmm. Just got all this cooked out now, which would be quite good. Uh, plain gin.
Now let's split the low.
Thing? I think so. Cool. So let's save that. And let's export. Substance painter low shit. Forgot to actually no, I didn't. So I want all of these again. Uh, and let's pack these again. Do bait textures. Get the new one. Apply mesh name. Keep all the same bait or texture sets. Let's see what happens. So that's still baking fine, obviously, because we haven't changed anything. So now let's have a look at the metal grey. Seems to be being baking pretty well. to just smarten these edges up a bit more so they fit a bit better, I think. What's going on in here? That could probably all be baked as one piece, if I'm being honest. Might be easier to texture. Anyway, uh, so let's just get steel stained steel is probably going to be better a bit more fitting
bring the base down. Um, Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So, oh, right, I think I might leave it there. Might do a quick high res bake and just see what these look like combined down here. Uh, could not find vertex colors, that's fine. Um, so these Is baking something. And a couple of issues, but not too bad. Cool, okay, so I'm going to leave it there for tonight. And uh, I'll be posting the Discord, etc. So get involved over there. Uh,
Cool. Okay, so leaving it there, and I'll see you all uh, next week, Tuesday, hopefully. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.